Hello, my name is Aisha Lasfar and I'm a professional pyrography artist. Today I'll be showing you how I make one of my favorite designs, Fatima's Land. Like with any craft, you need to think about safety first. So I'm going to be using a heat proof glove. And I'm also going to be wearing a smoke mask because there's no amount of smoke that's good for you, no matter how natural it may seem. The first thing we're going to need is a nice piece of wood. In my case, I love using live edge wood, which means it still has its natural bark, but at the same time, it is already really smooth and sanded, so I can get straight to work. I will sit down with a pencil and an eraser and a ruler and just sketch out the main idea onto the wood directly. All right, I think I'm happy with my sketch, so now it's time to start burning. My burning tool comes with different pens, which have different tips to achieve different textures. And it's plugged into a base here where I have my temperature control. Where I want the shading to be really dark, I'm going to hold my pen there longer and also hold it down harder to achieve a darker stain. If I want an area of the design to be lighter, I'm going to move my pen faster and also not apply as much pressure. I have a butane torch, which I will sometimes use to get a more even darkened area on my piece. Along with the burning, I also like to do a bit of carving because it really gives my piece some texture. Then near the end of my design, when I'm happy with the final result, I will take a sanding block and go in to sand any imperfections out. At the very end, I like to add some extra outlines and textures to really make the design pop out of the wood. And that's how you make a piece of pyrography.